Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from a beautiful Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to be sharing a couple projects with you using the adorable owl stamp set. I'm going to combine those with some brand new products out of our January through April spring mini catalog. And this is all part of the one stamp at a time blog hop where we are featuring a theme of fresh finds. So let's get this camera turned around and I will show you what I made. I am combining my adorable owls stamp set with the designer tags dies. These are a really fun set of tag dies with some other elements in here. We are going to be making a simple fun fold. I'm going to be using the new variegated ribbon and this is balmy blue and you can see that pretty variegation on there. This is from our new spring mini catalog as well as the iridescent pastel gems also new. And I'm going to bring in the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper. This is a pack of 48 12 by 12 double-sided Designer Series paper. This is free with our celebration promotion. And if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, if you would like to get a hold of this brochure and also our new mini catalog, all of the items featured in here are free. And that paper, the Dandy Designs paper, is one of those items. It's shown right here, and it's free with a $100 purchase. This all set is free with a $50 purchase. So this is the best time of the year until January 28th to stock up on your stamping supplies and get a whole bunch of stuff free. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my cardstock layers and my designer series paper. I'm going to be using a tuxedo black memento ink pad, as well as the other items I've shown you here. And I've got several colors of stamp and blends and I'll let you know the details on these as soon as we start using them. I have a basic white medium sized envelope and I like to decorate my envelopes when I'm making cards. If you follow me, you know this about me. I think that when somebody opens up their mailbox and they're getting a homemade card from you, the first clue should be how pretty your envelope is. So I've got a two and a half by six inch piece of the Dandy Designs free designer series paper here. And I'm gonna use our sharp little paper snips to trim off the excess. Now I like to put it on like this because I can use this envelope flap as a guide to cut that paper off so it fits perfectly on the envelope. And isn't this gonna be so much prettier than just a plain white envelope? And it's kind of funny too, because my nails almost match the paper that I'm using, right? <laughs> okay, our fun fold is going to use a Calypso Coral card base. That's one of the coordinating colors in the Dandy Designs paper. Um, this is five and a half by eight and a half. You can find all of the dimensions for these projects, by the way, on my blog at www.estampabove.com. At the end of the video, you're going to find a link right up here that's going to take you right to this blog post. So we're going to take our, our card base and we are going to score it at one and a quarter inches. This is our paper trimmer, by the way. It's um, $25. It's really inexpensive and I really like it. It's got a scoring blade and a cutting blade. And it's also got a extendable ruler that goes out to 17 inches. So it's pretty sweet. Okay, we've got that done. I'm gonna fold that over and burnish that edge with my bone folder. All of the products that I'm showing you today can be found in my online store and that online store link happens to be on my blog right here. Okay, we've got those two pieces. This is a piercing mat. I like to wrap it with printer paper, tape that on there, and this is what I use to stamp on and also to glue on so I don't get my desktop all messy. So we've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece of basic white cardstock. This is gonna go on the inside of my card and I see that I am missing 
a piece of designer series paper. So this is one inch by four inches. And I'm just going to add this. You can, I actually use up all my scraps in my designer paper packs to decorate the insides of my cards because like the envelope, I think that when you open up a card, the party should not be over. Meaning no naked insides, no naked envelopes, no naked insides. I'm gonna take this and add it right to the inside of my card. So we've got this fun fold going on here. We're gonna put our inside in here. Color coordinates that designer paper with our card base. And then we've got two more pieces of designer paper. This larger one is, I do not have that measurement written down. Let me tell you, two and three quarters. Yep, two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then we've also got a one by five and a quarter. We're gonna add these right onto the front of the card. Make sure I get that on there straight. And then that one inch strip. I'm using liquid glue. This is multi-purpose liquid glue. It's available in my online store and I love it. It goes a long ways and it gives you that little bit of wiggle room that you can move it around without you know, destroying what you're doing to move it around. Okay, so here's our fun fold. We've got that done. We've got our pretty little envelope done. Let's make the rest of our card. I am going to take this white piece and I'm going to die cut it with this particular tag from the designer tag die. So I'm gonna die cut that. Let me bring in my die cutting machine. I'm gonna close this back up for just a second. This little jewel, we have a large die cutting machine and a small one. This is called our Boho Mini Machine. This is available free when you join my team as a discount shopper or you can um, work on building a business. I am going to use my little boho machine. All the details are in the celebration brochure. You can get this free when you order the starter kit and become a member of my team. And then you get to choose $175 in any product you would like. So there are three different options to join. One of them is $99, the other two are $129, and then you get to choose $175 in product. It's pretty sweet. So here's our die. So what I did here is I took my stamp, my owl stamp and my hoot hoot, you're so cute. And I lined it up on the grid that's in here so that it would stamp straight. I stamped it on the scrap of paper. I took the paper out and die cut it. And I did this because I made this for a swap, which means I made about 21 of these. Now I've got a template here where I can just drop this label right back in place and stamp these over and over again. They're gonna be straight every time, completely centered. And that's one of the things I love about this positioning tool we call the Stamparatus. Look at that, perfect every single time. I like to use my take your pick tool to get that out of there. I've got several of these die cuts so I can make a bunch of the labels and they just fit right back in here like a puzzle. I'm gonna ink up my little owl and my sentiment and stamp it at once. And I actually have one more, even though we're only making one card today. As long as I have this out and I have ink on it, why not get this all done? Then I can have all three cards ready to go. Okay. Let's put that on there. So I've got three tags here. I'm only gonna make one for you today. Oh, and by the way, when we clean this off, I like to use my chamois. Again, can be found in my online store. And I'm going to just wipe that off. And I can set it aside or I can put those stamps away if I'm done with them. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna see how much ribbon do I need to make a nice little bow to go on my tag. And this is that variegated balmy blue ribbon that's new in our catalog. Gosh, I just love it. It's very soft, it's easy to work with. I think this is gonna work just fine. 
I'm gonna cut that and then I'm gonna pull it back apart. Now, um, for shorter pieces of ribbon, I would use my Stampin' Blend markers to color them, but this is a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I am going to grab a sponge dauber. The sponge daubers come five to a pack. They're really nice too. I like them. They've got a, you can put your finger in the end of them. So they work really nice. So I'm just going to grab my sponge dauber and I'm going to kind of run this through my ink pad. You can kind of hold it down. I wish I had another hand here, but there are a variety of different ways you can color ribbon. This is just one of them. And as you can see, the other side is getting nice and dark. I want to do this first. So this has a little bit of time to dry. And again, this side looks a lot nicer than the other side. Anything you can use to hang on to this works really good. And again, I said, like I said, I wish I had another hand here to hang on to everything and keep it in place. You can use um, your ink refills to dye your ribbon. You just have to like kind of hang it up and let it dry. Look how pretty that is. This is gonna work out great. And yes, your fingers do get a little messy. And that's what we have baby wipes for, right? Get your fingers cleaned off. Set this aside. And I'm going to bring in my owl label. I am going to, I'm not going to do a lot of fancy coloring on here. But I'm just going to color the owl with my dark Calypso Coral. Then I'm gonna grab my light gray granite. My light daffodil delight. then my light pool party. Oops, I colored the wrong one. Hang on, I'm gonna get a color lifter out. Here's a little color lifter. We're gonna pull that color out of there. I meant to do the pupil with the color. Not the part that's supposed to stay white. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to grab that light gray granite because I see I kind of went out of the lines here a little bit. And if I keep blending that, it will take that away where I went out of the lines with the Clipso Coral. Okay. This is ready. Now, one thing that I did with this is I cut off this bottom tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I think I wanna do this in my favorite cutter. It's just gonna work out better for me. I think I can get it nice and straight in the paper cutter, whereas I might not be able to with the scissors. See how I did that? That looks really good. Okay, all we have left is to add some dimensionals to the back of this. And this is gonna go on our card. I'm gonna take this label and I'm going to center it. 
So it's gonna go about right here. So I'm gonna put my dimensionals right on my card instead of on the back of my layer so that I know they're going exactly in the place where they need to go, okay? And then I can put some dimensionals on the other side of the label. This is just gonna make more sense in the long run to do it this way. Oops, hang on, I turned that over, I think, and now it's stuck to it. Uh, well, let's get a new dimensional. Gosh, I'm having kind of a lot of problems tonight. <laughs> Maybe this is my sign I should go to bed. What do you guys think? <laughs> and then we're gonna do this one. Now I'm going to come in here and again I'm just looking at my card I'm going to center my little owl right in the center of the whole card look at how cute that is and here's our little fun fold right now I want to take this ribbon I'm going to tie it in a bow it's dry now looks good And we're going to just manipulate this until I get it to lay the way that I want it. I don't want it to be too big. There we go. Okay, that looks like a pretty good bow, right? Looks pretty decent. I'm gonna grab my mini glue dots. I use my take your pick tool for a lot of stuff. You see that I use it for my dimensionals. I use it for mini glue dots. Um, I'm going to actually add a dimensional underneath. I should have put one right behind the opening on my, on my tag here. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because then I have something substantial to add my mini glue dot to because I'm not actually tying my ribbon through. It's just kind of like a faux bow um, opening under there. Okay, now, doesn't that ribbon look great on here? And again, it's nice because you can make the ribbon any color you want it, even though it's a like a balmy blue. It wasn't even white ribbon, but because it's lighter than the color I'm turning it, it works out okay. Now I wanna put, some embellishments on here because gosh, every card needs just a tiny bit of bling, right? Look at that. This is, whoops, this is perfect. And again, I'm using my take your pick tool. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend adding one to your order. They're only $10, they're fantastic. So now we have our card and our matching envelope. And this is like an all occasion card. Hoot, hoot, you're cute. You can put a happy birthday in here. You can put congratulations on your new baby. Whoops. You can do anything you'd like there. Let me get this back on here. I must not have secured that very good. There we go. Yeah, super, super cute card. Again, the stamp set is free with a $50 order. 48 sheets of the designer series paper free with a hundred dollar order. This is the best time to be stocking up on your regular supplies, cardstock, envelopes. Um, maybe if you need some new ink pads, your adhesives, good time during celebration. And again, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to send you a copy of the celebration brochure and also our brand new beautiful spring mini catalog. These are fantastic. And don't forget to check out the opportunity to get yourself a free Boho Blue mini machine when you join my team. Whether you want a discount on your products or you want to have some supplemental income or somewhere in between, I am here to help you do that. Don't forget, this is a blog hop with the One Stamp at a Time design team. You can click right up here. That's going to take you to my blog where you're going to find um, a list of other People that are in this blog hop, you can hop from blog to blog to blog and see what everyone else made. I will also have another project on my blog that I don't have in this video, which is a little treat packet that matches this card. Go check that out. Please click down here to subscribe. You don't want to miss anything that I have new coming out. And if you do plan on placing an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. 
This is my current host code. Please use that code if your order's under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards of your own, and I definitely want you to have those. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time today to spend with me. Adorable owls, designer tag dies, dandy designs, designer series paper. It's all a win-win. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.